leather accords for the autumn. One of my favorite accords to wear. Um, so I'm excited I'll be able to break out more of them. Um, I do wear some leather scents sparingly, very lightly, very mindfully in the summer. But now I'm, I'm happy that I am able to wear it with abandon. Now that the weather will be cooling down. Um, I'm filming in the evening, so I most definitely very likely will most definitely very likely will not be spraying anything because of mosquitoes. I don't know if you can tell. I have my floodlights on, but I don't know if you can tell it's evening. Um, but you can probably hear. I hope they're crickets. We're just going to go crickets. We'll just That's what we'll call them. Anyway, so hi hubby. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate you. So we're going to do it normal professional style. Just grab and go out of this box over here. Um, all right, so I'm in no particular order. Uh, so for the first one we have up that I'm excited to wear and I'm still trying to understand it better. I had it for a while, but I haven't gotten a chance to truly like appreciate it. Um, and what am I talking about? It is John Barbados, Dark Rebel. Can we just, I'm gonna give you a minute to just appreciate this flipping awesome bottle. It is marketed to quote unquote men, but I literally don't care if you're not familiar or if you're new to the channel for whatever reason, I wear whatever I like, it's as simple as that. People smell my vibe, not so much the perfume, if that makes sense. Like, no one's thinking of me, look, thinking of a man, you know, like, oh my God, she smells like a man, or she looks like a man. No. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, enough with my rambling. John Dravado's Dark Rebel. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Surprisingly underrated, um, and I'm not sure why. This is leather. It's sweet. I think there's a little bit of tobacco in here. Um, it's aromatic, but sometimes when you can see aromatic it can feel like it has harsh edges but there's something smooth about this and I hesitate to say honey but there is this softness but not like a cashmere kind of softness um, almost like a liquid sugar maybe a less viscous honey because I don't like dense perfumes but this is even thinner than that there feels to be like some kind of honey accord running through that. Um, there are like a hundred gazillion notes in this, so I don't remember the 30 notes that are listed on this, right? I'm just going to tell you from what I, I'm smelling it, from what I remember wearing it. And the leather note for me, I think it is pretty easy to get with, and there is animalic notes in here, but again, it just seems so well blended. And there is some, I think, thyme notes or say something a little bit unusual. Um, but regardless, I mean, I feel like this is a whole vibe. This is like on a Harley vibe. So, I mean, hello. I listed this on my perfume to wear for goths. Um, and this one I called for on a Harley. And I think you can understand why. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. Just, isn't that sick? Yeah. Those are, those are real zippers. I mean, I don't plan on zipping this. But anyways, John Rovedo's Dark Rebel. Um, this is not a review. It's just a chit chat. So I'm trying to be appreciating that a little bit more. And the next one I have um, an Argos perfume and it is, uh-oh, oh my god, why, don't, why are the names never on the bottle for people like me? Okay, um, let me smell and see if I can remember. Ah, uh, yes, um, Bella Del Caccio, Bella Del Caccio, god, I hope I get that right. Um, I'll, I'll put the name down below. Um, anyway, so Argos. This is another one that I really don't kind of hear anybody talk about. Um, and again, this is, I think, more quote-unquote masculine, but I feel like if you're a woman, you like unisex scents, you like um, woody aromatic scents, you appreciate it. Um, more natural smelling scents, you're, you would appreciate something like this. Um, yeah, this is really unusual. It, it's really beautiful. Again, one of those things I'm still trying to learn. This I just recently got. Um, can we just take a moment for the bottle, though? I mean, just, God, look at that bottle. Oh, it's, look at that. The artistry and detail that goes into this. Can you, I don't know if you can truly see the beauty here. Oh, there you go. And the cut of the bottle. Can you see that? Beyond my fingerprints and the top. It's just gorgeous. Um, but anyway, typically birch notes scare me, but I don't know. It just, it seems to work in here. Um, it feels like fresh air, but not fresh air, like you're in the woods, but there's a little bit of a sweetness there, so it's not too much, but it definitely leans woody, definitely leans aromatic. Um, there's definitely pepper cores in here, and there has to be some kind of like citrus on the top, but basically it's, it's uh, predominantly woody, birchy, 
I feel like cold air is in here, cold forest air, um, which would be great for hiking and stuff. And Argos, I haven't given this a full day wear test, it's just kind of test spot testing. But from what I've, the other stuff that I've worn, Argos perfumes are beast, they bloody last. So I'm not worried about performance in this regard. But anyway, this is something I'll be intentionally wearing to understand more. Uh, Argos Bella del Caccio, Caccio gorgeous woody aromatic scent all right the next one ah yes um i discontinue one sorry but if you have it pull it out or if you're able to somehow get your hands on it or decant it if you are a rose lover if you're a suede lover if you are a plum lover just try and you know sample this and what am i talking about this is uh valentino Don damn names again it's not on the bottle again with these long names this is valentina Donna Noir Absolute, and I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting a word in that long bloody name, but all of that aside, in here, um, there is suede, there is, God, this is, there's rose in here, it's either leather or suede, but when I wear it, it comes off more like suede, so it's actually kind of irregardless if it actually is leather, supposedly, um, there's a plum note in here, there's definitely spice, oh my God, I'm going to spray myself, aren't I, no, nope, I'm going to do it, it's okay, it's not that sweet, it's, more rosy, sweetie. God, duh, this damn fragrance. Yeah, once you spray it on your skin, that, that suede leatheriness comes alive. That saffron really comes to the forefront. I mean, can we just get it for the bottle? These black bottles, I mean, hello. Goth vibes all over the place here. Anyway, back to this. And I understand the rose in here. Oh, and the plum in here is gorgeous. It's a it's a gorgeous plum scent. And I understand that it says Donna on it, but to me, if you like rose scents as a male, you, you can totally wear this. Um, oh yeah, but you have to like rose scents. I mean, yeah, gorgeous. Plummy, sweaty, definitely gives evening vibes. You can't wear this with flats. This It's going to be an insult to the perfume, you know? Um, you kind of have to bring energy with this. I mean, stilettos. Don't wear flats. Don't wear espadrilles. Okay, that's going to be like, no. Just, no. We don't wear espadrilles with something like Donna, Valentina, Noir, Absolute. Can we just what not these bloody names? I mean, who are on the marketing teams with, if you exceed more than two words, or more than two, three words, I mean, you really need to reconsider the name of the bloody fragrance. I mean, am I tripping, or does anybody else feel that way? Anyway, so, um, Valentina, Donna, Noir, Absolute, the really, really long one. It is discontinued, but if you're able to find it, I, I would highly suggest to get it if you love plummy, rosy, saffrony, leathery scents, okay? Um, and then another one, again, from Valentino. Um, it's been, I think, since a few seasons since I pulled this one out. Um, it is Valentino, again, and it is Donna, the original one, not Donna Born in Roma. This is original Donna. This is another rose scent. Um, and again, there is suede in here. Now to me, this is literally sophistication in a bottle. And the rose here is a little bit waxy and I think cause it's mixed with iris in here. So, but I, there's also a little bit of powdery, powderiness and I kind of hesitate to use the word powderiness. I think I mean powderiness in a terms of texture which doesn't make sense because I'm saying like a lipstick kind of iris but somehow it kind of has all you have like this suede-ness the cashmere-ness touch of a suede yet you have waxiness like a lipstick waxiness yet you have powderiness so it's, I don't know to me this is so underrated um it gets overshadowed by Donna Born in Roma um and I guess people tend to not be crazy about rose scents. You know, when something is rose dominant, um, it usually tends not to be crazy on the mass market. But anyway, I love this. And when I spray this, it specifically reminds me of feeling like I'm on Fifth Avenue on a shopping spree because that leather, that suede that you smell in here is high quality leather, but also just brings back very specific memories of being on Fifth Avenue um, and shopping issues. <laughs> I have shopping issues. Anyway, um, yeah, so, I mean, this is just the epitome of class, and I feel like the bottle, one thing they did do really well with this this particular line, um, the bottles match the vibe, and I appreciate that detail from companies. 
Um, this is a designer company um, and it is mass marketed, but I do appreciate, regardless if it's mass marketed, indie, or niche, or whatever the case is, I look for details. Um, a conscientiousness, if you will, when, when marketing things to consumers. And for me, the bottles 100% match the vibes, if that makes sense, the vibe of the soul that's in the bottle. At the end of the day, it's the vibe is subjective, but there still should be a kind of a, a goal, if you will, um, when constructing accords for perfume. And I feel like this line, one, it doesn't get enough love. Besides Donna Born Aroma, but all the other ones, these two Donna, the original Donna, which I'm pretty sure preceded Donna Born Aroma, and this one right here that was discontinued, and I think Natalie Lorson worked on it. Uh oh, I, I hope I'm not making that up. Uh oh, well, I think it was Natalie Lorson. I think two people worked on this, and I feel like Natalie Lorson was one of them. Um, and if you know her work, she's really good. Why do I feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot right now? Um, but regardless, what I'm trying to say is I appreciate little details like that for big brands, small brands, um, just the conscientiousness of that. Um, okay, so the next one up is from Scentbird. You know, it is in here from my, my Scentbird subscription. Ah, uh, yes, Rag and Bone. It's called Oddity. I feel so seen with the name Oddity. So um, since basically the beginning of my channel, I've been talking about Rag and Bone Summer. No, I'm sorry. Rag and Bone. There's a notification on my phone. Just that distracted me. I'm sorry. Uh, what was he saying? Focus. Um, rag and Bone. Bergamot. Yes, I talked about that on my channel several times already. Nobody ever talks about that. And a few of you have gotten my recommendation and loved it. Um, it is expensive. It's $150 for 50 ml, but it is good quality, right? Um, so Scentbird, I've mentioned prior on my channel as well, that holds it so you can test it before you decide whether or not you want to, right, actually get the bottle. Um, but the one that I'm testing for myself, which I, I don't know why, when I was in the store, I didn't stop to try Oddity. I, I cannot explain to you. I guess I just got enamored with bergamot i don't know if you can see the name here so anyway from the line of um clothing line of rag and bone we have oddity and i just love the name because i just feel so seen because i feel like i am odd um that's not an insult to myself or anybody else that is odd i just saying i feel seen by the name but anyway back to the scent um so i'm still trying to understand it um, I wore it last time. I really loved it. And I'm about to sound like a butthead saying this. Be like, oh my God, did she just really say that? But when I smell this, if you've ever been, yeah, okay. I feel like everybody's going to like roll their eyes right now. If you've ever been to a country club and specifically in the country club in the library, um, if it's like dark and there's like leather couches there, like the older leather couch, like a new leather couch, like the older ones that have character. And I think the word I'm looking for is patina, right? They've been lived in. They have stories to tell. And then you have books on mahogany. Specifically, the smell is so specific. I think this is safe to spray out here because it's like um, amber and woody. God, yes. Oh my God. It's a literally trans... I feel like right now I'm in a dimly lit library with dark, heavy mahogany woods dog-eared books with leather um, covers on the books worn in dark leather couches you know what I mean with the, the green lamps with the gold bases um, and like Persian rugs all over the floor yeah oh my god so this there's leather in here it's aromatic there's definitely amber in here something a little peppery I think there's actual pepper and one thing I've noticed with rag and bone they tend to like to use peppers in their fragrances and they do it so well. This 100% is not gonna be for everybody. I mean, I feel like it's the name says it all. It says oddity. Um, but if you like, if you like um, Plum and Cognac by Scent of Woods, because I have that one, you're gonna appreciate this one. This came out four or five years before Plum and Cognac. But to me, I actually appreciate this way more. This actually a little bit, I just, wait, is it Plum and Wood? It's, yeah, 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 no, Plumwood. Um, plum and Cognac, the dry down, not the opening, but the dry down of it, I feel like they're kind of similar, not the same, but definitely similar. So if you appreciate the darkness of that, like the kind of oak barrel, like like true oak barrel kind of smell, 
you're gonna appreciate something like this. And yes, this definitely leans masculine, but I just, I really love this scent. And it literally, as soon as I smelled this, especially on the dry down, I mean, this is talking about like Country Club, like library vibes right here. Um, so this feels like aloof, edified almost. I just really gorgeous. So I'm really excited to be wearing more of this and I'm showing you like, you can see the name. Anyway, scent board. Um, again, Oddity by Rag and Bone. I think I just have one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one I just got in the mail today. Uh, it's called The Whiskey Rose from, I believe it's a small company. Again, I, I don't have my glasses on. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Savoir, Savoir Fair. Savoir Fair. Um, I think it is an indie company. If you're familiar with this company, if you can just please let me know down below. Um, I don't have the, the papers that came in the package today. Um, but anyway, I got curious about this, so I decided to try it. Um, I mean, because it says rose, so once there's rose in the name or somewhere prominently in the notes, there's there's no selling. You don't it's just stop selling because the sold's already been the sales have already been made. Anyway, back to this again. Still learning this, but there is a leather note in here, and this one feels more like a natural kind of perfume. Um, I think there's sandalwood in here, and there's definitely spice and a little bit aromatic, and I understand the rose in here. I don't necessarily get it right off the top, but like six minutes and as it starts to warm up on my skin, I do get the rose and it's, I think a very pleasant rose to get with a little bit soapy, just like a whisper of soapiness and it's like a pink rose. Um, and I feel like this would do really well with men. I think it is actually targeted for men if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to misspeak, but um, if you like rose with your woman or men, I mean, I feel like you're gonna like this. Again, I don't know anything about the performance or the longevity. I was just spot checking it. Um, so for the next month or so, I just want to understand this better, the whiskey roll. So if you're familiar with the details of the company and the owner or owners, if you can just please let me know. Um, anyway, yeah, so something I'm excited to wear actually, and it feels more natural. Um, I think I, I'm starting to understand what people mean when they say perfumes are smell synthetic. Um, yeah. This just seems natural. This definitely feels like an indie perfume, but again, whiskey rose, um, leather, rosy, aromatic, I think a little peppery, natural smelling, um, and I think there's sandalwood in here. Uh, so just a quick recap, um, we have um, Argos Bella Del Caccia that I'll be studying for the next month and wearing and appreciating because I do more than study my fragrances. I also wear them and appreciate them. Um, the discontinued Donna, Noir, Absolute, oh geez Louise, I think it's extreme in the name or something like that. Um, then we have John Varvatos, Varvatos, Dark Rebel, and this a beautiful leather zipper cover. And then we have the original Donna from Valentina, and Oddity by Rag and Bone, just like me and probably you if you're watching a channel like this, because we do fragrances and if you... If you read my community tab, you know there are way more than just fragrances here, if you know what I mean. Anyway, reference my community tab to see what craziness I'm talking about. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me know if you like leather. I, I have a feeling you do. Um, what leather scents do you absolutely love? Is there anything that I have not mentioned that you think I should try? Um, or maybe a newer company, a smaller company, if you could put me on. I'd like to support smaller companies to the best of my ability. I mean, I can only do so much, but just let me know. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you in the next one, hopefully tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Just a gentle reminder, the sweetest fragrances we will ever wear are not these perfumes, but our behavior. And now the gentle reminder, please find somebody to thank today, even just for something small. And more importantly, take a moment to thank God, because if you're here watching this video, that means we've made it into yet another day. And even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you, my friend. Bye.